How's it going everybody? Just want to make a quick video about uh, about punishment of crime in a voluntary society. Please don't mind my uh, swollen eyelids. I think I have some kind of uh, aller allergic reaction to something that I'm not sure about. But anyways, uh, I look at the internet and see uh, in these libertarian circles um, people who uh, who are not all the way voluntarists or anarchists who still to some extent believe that we need a, a however limited state in order to, uh, to do whatever we need a state to do, uh, protection or, you know, roads or whatever the argument is. Um, but, uh, one of the main reasons that I see people uh object to a completely free society is the idea that there isn't an adequate method of uh fighting against crime and actual and actual criminals and um the way i would address this is uh from a from a standpoint of the right to associate and disassociate with whoever uh, you want to associate or disassociate with. So in short, uh, if say you have a person who, who is notorious for stealing other people's, uh, other people's things, say it's a notorious carjacker, for example, it's person A and say this person A lives in a town that has grocery store A, grocery store B, and grocery store C. Uh, in a society wherein there are no laws, there's no state to enforce anti-discrimination laws, uh, if you, if those three companies were to come together and say, okay, here's a list of criteria that we have for people who we wish to associate with and for whom we wish to disassociate with and therefore not let into our premises, not let that person shop or whatever, etc. Uh, if one of those criteria is carjacking for one of the reasons to disassociate with somebody or bar them from coming to your property if you own one of those three businesses, um, then again, if you, we say that these three companies agreed on this criteria and this person has been proven to be one of these people who harms other people via carjacking, uh, then all of a sudden you have a situation wherein this person who's the carjacker has his quality of life or his ease of life drastically uh, decreased. It's become, you know, very, a lot harder for this person to, to just live, uh, because they won't be able to get groceries or supplies or, or what have you from these three stores. And that's what a lot of people I think miss who are in these libertarian circles or who call themselves minarchists because they feel like there needs to be at least a minimal state to enforce uh, laws that punish real criminals. Um, the one thing that I, it seems to me that they miss is just the sheer effectiveness, the sheer effectiveness of the right to associate and disassociate from everybody else. Um, because it, from what it seems to me is that that is a very effective tool in enforcing social norms. Um, but anyways, that's just my thinking. Uh, feel free to comment below if you agree or disagree. And uh, thanks for watching.